welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you a few of my summer fashion, beauty, and accessories favorites. Um, so these are just a few things that I have been loving the past few months. New products that I'm trying out that I have liked, one that I'm questionable about, and I just wanted to chit chat and talk to you about them today. I did want to quickly mention that I am blogging on my blog, as I always mention, so I would love for you to go check that out. It is TimelessTasteBlog.com, and I also just started a wedding series on my blog, so I would love for you to check that out. Um, I will leave a link to both of those down below. So let's go ahead and just jump right into the products and start chatting. So I'm going to start off with the beauty products. I have been trying a ton of cream products and I have actually been really loving them. So the first product I want to mention is the Bobbi Brown. Um, this is the Skin Foundation Stick. I absolutely love this. I have been wearing it. This is actually my second tube. Um, this is the one that I just replaced. Um, I really love it. It's so easy. I can swipe it on, um, blend it out with my beauty blender, and I can just go back in to any areas that need a little bit more coverage and just dab a little bit on. Um, it's really awesome. The coverage is, I would say, probably medium, and it was, it's very buildable. Um, it's so natural, and I just really, really love it, so I wanted to share that with y'all. So the next product is also another cream product, and this is the Anastasia Contour Cream Kit. So I've really been loving this. I purchased it mostly for the contour colors, but I've actually really been loving the concealer and um, I guess more like the highlighting shades and color correcting shades. I use the middle color, which is the neutral shade for um, concealing my blemishes. I use the banana shade to kind of correct any darkness in the fair shade. Um, I use both of those under my eyes, and I really love it. They cover so well, and um, they're really long-lasting. I would say that they might crease a little bit. Um, however, I really also love the contour shades. They don't crease at all, um, and they give you a really natural contour. In the realm of all of these cream products, I decided to go ahead and give a cream blush a go. This is the Dandelion Dew from Benefit. It comes in this really fun green packaging, and it has a pump, so I just pump a little probably like a half a pump onto my finger and then I just rub it together, pat it on my cheeks and blend it out with a blush brush and I really love it. It gives a really natural, I would say like a step up from a natural, so it's not completely natural. The color is kind of a pinky peach shade. I'm wearing it today, but the cream product just blends right in and it looks, it looks really natural and great on your skin. Um, and this I feel like will last forever because I don't even use a full pump. I only use just a little bit and the color payoff is amazing. So the last cream base product I have is a NARS Multiple and this is in the shade Copacabana. And this is not completely a favorite yet. I just wanted to get your opinion on how to use this. So I think that the highlight is really natural. It's really beautiful. It glistens. It looks amazing on your skin. But I do feel like it kind of sticks to any problem areas or like any dry spots that I have and really kind of brings those out more than what I'm looking for. And I was curious if you have this, what your opinion is on it and how you apply it. So when I usually apply it, I just dab it on my cheeks, but I feel like it takes all of my foundation off when I do that. So I'm just a little bit concerned. However, I really love the shade and I love the way it highlights, but I do feel like it kind of rubs my foundation off. So if you have any tips for using the multiple, let me know down below. The last two beauty products that I have are actually lip products. If you follow my blog or if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I love YSL lipstick. I think it is completely worth the investment. I know it's a little expensive, but the color payoff is completely worth it. They're long lasting and you'll have them forever. So one of my favorite or new favorite shades for summer is the shade number seven. I purchased my first one last summer and by this year I had kind of used it up. So I purchased another one. Um, I'm wearing it today. It's such a beautiful bright pink. Um, it's kind of a bright baby pink. It's cool tone, so it's not really warm, um, but I love it. It really gives your lips a pop without being like hot pink. So I would say it's a really bright baby pink, which I love. It is so creamy and smooth on the lips, and it just is perfect. So I'm wearing that today, and I'm pairing it with this new Buxom lip gloss that I purchased recently. I know Buxom is not a new product. Everyone loves these. I don't know why it took me so long to get on the bandwagon. However, I did purchase the shade Erin, which is kind of similar to the YSL shade. It's kind of a baby pink color, however, it's very translucent, um, it's it's not going to give you this color. So if you want to pair it with a pink lipstick, it looks perfect. I love the way it feels. I love the scent. It's almost, 
I'm not sure if it's vanilla or almond or something else, but it's a warm, creamy scent, um, and I love that. I love the way it tingles. It lasts so long on the lips. I would say this is probably the longest wearing lipstick that I own, or lip gloss that I own, um, and I really love it. So this combination has definitely been a favorite, or these two on their own, either way, I love these. To work my way into the fashion um, portion of the favorites, I wanted to first talk about a um, jewelry item. So I have had a few pieces of Kendra Scott for quite a while, but I did recently just purchase these new um, ears. So I'm not sure if these are the medium size or what. I think. They are because there's one smaller and one larger. Um, if there's three sizes, this is definitely the medium. If there's four, then I'm not sure. But I really love these. I'm not positive. I think the gray might be a new color, but I love this gray color. So it's a really cool tone um, gray with the gold hardware. Or not gold hardware, but gold hardware. Um, and I really love these. I think they're going to be perfect for fall, but I've been wearing them in the summer anyways. Um, and they're beautiful and recently I've been wearing a lot more of my Kendra Scott earrings that are like obviously dangle I'm a stud girl, but recently I have really been loving these and been wearing my Kendra Scott earrings like every other day So these are definitely a new favorite. So next I will go ahead and talk about shoes I purchased myself kind of actually two sort of like graduation presents um, because I did recently graduate college so the first graduation present is this pair of Chanel espadrilles these are my absolute favorite shoes I had these on my list for a long time to purchase um, and I never purchased them however once I graduated I kind of treated myself and I will say not that I didn't expect to get a lot of wear out of them but I have gotten so much wear out of these and I love these so much more than I could have ever imagined they're so comfortable they're great for walking in, not like miles and miles, um, but they're so comfortable. They go with everything. This is the nude and the black leather. Um, I believe it's calfskin, lambskin. I'm not sure. I think it's lambskin. I don't know. They're really soft. They're so comfortable. I love how it has a little platform. Um, they just, they truly go with everything. You, I wear them with dresses. I wear them with jeans. I wear them with shorts. Um, they are just... They're just amazing. I will say that the nude is probably a little bit more like orangey nude um, or orangey tan than I expected. However, I just really, really love these shoes. So I would highly recommend if you're on the edge of deciding whether or not to purchase them. I love them so much and I would say go for it. The second pair of shoes I have are a pair of sandals. If you read my blog or follow me on Instagram, you will have seen these a million times, but I really love these. These are the Steve Madden Neely or Nylee sandals. I'm not sure. I'll link them below. If they're not sold out already, they were on a major sale at Nordstrom recently. Um, but these are just some platform strap sandals. They're so cute. They're in the nude. Um, I, don't, I don't know if this is leather. It's not leather, but um, faux leather. And I really love these. I actually purchased, I really wanted a pair of wedge sandals. And I purchased these and a pair of wedges at the same time. I've never worn the wedges. I probably should sell those and these. And I literally wear these all the time. So I pretty much alternate between flip-flops, these sandals, and the Chanel Espadrilles. Um, so I really love these. If they're still available, I'll link them down below. So comfortable, so easy to walk in. And they give you a little height without making you feel clumsy or anything like that. You can wear them at daytime, nighttime, with dresses, with shorts, with jeans, so much. I love a versatile item and this is definitely one of those. So earlier I mentioned when I was talking about the Chanel Espadrilles that I purchased myself a graduation present. So the shoes were one and a bag was the other, which you've probably seen this as well already. Um, however, this is my new Louis Vuitton Never Full Toe. This is the MM size in the Damier Azur print with the rose ballerine interior. It probably has too much stuff. Um, so you can see the inside is like a light pink shade, a rose shade, and this was on my wish list for quite a while. Um, I tossed up a few things. I really would like a Celine bag, however, I just feel like they're almost a little bit, I don't know, not a classic item, and I know Louis Vuitton is so classic, and I really loved my Neverfull GM, and I really wanted a a piece of the Damier Azur, so I thought this would be the perfect investment. I really love this bag. It's great for every day. It holds so much stuff. I've taken it to the pool. I've taken it everywhere. I carry it on my shoulder and on my arms. It goes great with everything. It's perfect for summer. I will say it's probably definitely a summer investment, not for year-round. Um, however, I am really happy that I purchased this, and I will always remember it as my college graduation present to myself.
And the last two things I want to talk about quickly are two pieces of clothing. Um, I have been loving white so much this summer. Of course, because it's warm and it's, or that. The temperature is hot and white keeps me cool, but also because I am, this is my one chance to be all bridal, so I'm soaking that up and wearing lots of white. This is a linen tank top from Club Monaco. It's so cute. It's kind of a crop top, but I usually wear it with higher waisted um, shorts or jeans, and it has these cute little tassels at the bottom. I've worn this so much. It's been all over my Instagram and on my blog, and if you know me, you know that I wear this all the time. Um, so I love it. Um, I can't say enough good things about this. I really can't. It's just comfortable, it's light, it's fun, um, it's flirty, it's cute. So I really love this top. The second thing is also white. It's a little bit wrinkly. I'll link the two blog posts where I mentioned these products down below. Also, everything that I talked about will be linked below if I can find it. But this is a really cute eyelet um, off-the-shoulder dress from Target. So you can see the top. Um, it has this nice little flap with the eyelet detailing, and I just wear it off the shoulders. It's so cute. The bottom has this fun little pattern, a little floral print, and it's so light. It's so comfortable, and I just love it. I wear it all the time. It was such a great investment. I figured I would purchase one from Target before I buy like a name brand dress like this to see if I really love it, and I love it so much. The Target one was perfect. Um, so I have just really been wearing it all the time and I can't just get enough of it. So if you enjoyed this video, please let me know. If you want to see more of them, please let me know in a comment down below and give it a thumbs up. I would love to continue making videos for you if you're interested in vlogging and if you want to see some wedding videos, let me know. Please leave a request for those down below. I thought about making wedding videos, but I'm not really sure what to talk about. So if you have any interests or questions or anything like that, just let me know and I will film that for you. I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe if you haven't already and check out my blog. All my social media will be linked in the description bar. And I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching.